Pisces, welcome to Majestic Notion. Welcome back, guys. Thank you guys for your likes, shares, and subscriptions. Thank you all for your donations. Those who reached out and donated, I really do appreciate that. It's a great, um, you know, exchange of positive energy. So I really do thank you for that. Very grateful to you guys. Thank you for all the lovely comments as well. This is going to be for Pisces, okay? Whether it's Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Jupiter. Now, Pisces, this could be your energy that comes out, or this could be the person that you're questioning about in their situation, or you or your situation. Now, energy is fluid, so remember, whether it's a king or a queen or the emperor or the empress that comes out, you could resonate with either one of those energies as we both embody masculine and feminine energies. Again, we are creatures of habit, so if I say ladies, but it's a man that relates to the situation, just flip it how it works for you. Let's not create drama and drown in a glass of water when we don't really need to. At the end of the day, it's a general reading, not personal, so not every Pisces will resonate with this, okay? Not everyone is going to resonate as the world is watching. Now, my guides and myself focus on positive energies. So if you're a negative Nelly, negative Nancy, and or you're an internet troll, I would just don't bother because I'm just going to block and delete you. That's what I'm just going to start doing from now on instead of wasting my time in the beginning of every reading trying to address these fools, okay? You know, it, it's don't personalize a general reading. Always get a personal reading. I don't do them at this time. But always get a personal reading into your own situation. Okay? Can you resonate with the whole reading when it's a general reading? For sure. Absolutely. But sometimes you resonate with part of it, some of it, or none of it at all. So if you find yourself confused, don't make it fit. Just move on. Okay? Um, come back next time as I do Zodiac readings for, you know, every month. And I also do general readings in between the zodiac sign readings. I do about three or four of those. They're random general readings, just to kind of pick up on the energy of that day. So you can you can watch those, or maybe I'm not the reader for you, and you can go uh, and look at other readers um, and what they got going on, and see if it resonates. Okay. Now, Pisces, I'm going to be using several decks, so we're going to start with the Oracle Goddess Angel, Guidance Angel Cards by Dorian Virtue. We're just going to get one card, it's going to be the heartbeat of the reading, the major focus of the reading, okay, and energy. Then we're going to go into the Illuminati deck. Then we will go toward the Kipper deck, it's a fortune telling deck. And then we will use the Legacy of the Divine Tarot. And, of course, my new deck that will, the link will be down in the description box. It's called Manifest, and it is a tribute to the Magician. So it's the Magician series. All right. Let's go ahead and begin. Um, we're going to skip the intuitive part at this time. I haven't been getting a lot of music, so we'll see what happens in your reading. Um, but, yeah, I haven't been getting a lot of music for most of the signs. I think maybe for two or three, I got like something very brief, but that's it. So, I've called my spirit team and they surround me at this time, Pisces. Let's see what's going on for you. Two more shuffles for the sign of Pisces, my God. Let's see. What is the main energy of this reading for Pisces? What does Pisces need to focus on or need to know? They are on a need to know basis. Let's see. Oh, I keep getting this card, okay? We just got that for Aquarius. So if you're resonating with an Aquarius, I would take a look at that. Oh uh, no, not Aquarius, I'm sorry. We got that for Capricorn, I believe. Yeah, Capricorn. So we have Athena, inner wisdom, you know what to do. Trust your inner wisdom and take appropriate action without delay. Okay. So you have everything you need within yourself because you have that inner wisdom. 
So trust your gut instincts no matter what people are saying, doing. You know what to do here. Okay, let's look at the bottom of the deck. Okay, Coventina. Purification. It's, it is time for you... Can't even speak. It is time for a cleansing, detoxification of your body and mind. All right. So what I feel here is that you really need to go within to be in tune with your own vibration, your own understanding of what this is, okay? Without any outside influences. If any toxic people surround you at this time, get rid of them, okay? Remember that what angers you controls you, so let it go, free it, free your mind, and the rest will follow. Be colorblind, don't be so shallow. There you go. I got a song for you guys. Okay. So let's move forward, Pisces, and get into your reading. And let's illuminate your situation, shall we? Let's see what's going on. One. You could be telling people, you know, to follow their own inner compass, their own inner wisdom. To snap out of it. Okay. All right. Let's cut the deck here. For Pisces, my guys. All right. Let's see what's going on. Do, 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 do. Ooh. I call judgment. It's time to rise. Ten, ten. All right. We know that in 2020, it's a major closeout of. A major long cycle but I feel like something will be resurrected because of this cycle being closed right the return I don't know why I heard the return so this could be a past life thing or person okay the return of inner wisdom the return of your past life knowledge or knowledge from your ancestors being passed down to you this is why we need to be a clear channel right now and purify okay kind of keep that cycle all your chakras aligned and your crown chakra open i feel like you're in a manifestation mode here this is what's happening something something is being rebirthed here okay something is being resurrected all right but it comes with uh, end of karmic cycles here i feel so let's keep going. This could get a little deep. King of Cups. So this could be you. Okay. Um, also Scorpio or Cancer energy. So King of Cups. Somebody's sitting there all stoic. Contemplating. They have a feelings here in this cup. Okay. That they slowly sip on. Trying to see if they like or have that acquired taste for what they're feeling with that one foot in and one foot on the ground he doesn't want to go too overboard okay a little bit of a poker face not really letting you know all his cards just yet you know holding the cards close to his chest well, let's see making a major judgment call here could be closing out a major cycle here you or the other person flip it how it resonates Let's keep going. Ooh. Ace of Wands. Okay. I see somebody contemplating about a new romantic relationship. And I say romantic because we have the King of Cups. This is about emotions. This is about passion. Mm-hmm. So you're turning somebody on here. You turn me on. Mm -hmm. I'm getting music for you guys. Oh, okay. Let's see what else we got here. Woo! Hmm. Two of Cups. Look at that embrace. So somebody wants to embrace this connection. Look at his face. You are mine and I love you. Kundalini rising with this. Ooh. Passionate love. Steamy. I like it. Oh, I like it a lot. Mm-hmm. Let's look at the bottom of the deck here. Exactly. It doesn't come without heartbreak, right? Major cycle being closed. Somebody healing their heart so that they can come to you. I see. Okay. 
They could be uh, closing out a karmic cycle here with someone as well. So let's get into the Illuminati. Uh, not Illuminati. What am I talking about? I just used the Illuminati. The Kipper deck. All right. Let's see what's going on here. Pisces. What is going on? Let's talk about judgment. Let's talk about it. Two more shuffles, my guys. One more shuffle. <laughs> I'm here. Let's talk about sex, baby. Let's talk about you and me. Let's talk about all the good times and the bad things that may be. Let's talk about sex. Let's talk about sex. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, let's talk about it. <laughs> Courtship. So I see a little residual energy from Pisces season with you guys, boy. That's a, That was lusty. Oh, yes. Very romantic, sensual, sexual, all of the above. We know Pisces is ruled by... No. Why do I want to say that you're ruled by Venus? I know that Taurus is ruled by... Venus. I don't know, but anyways, you will know that answer. But somebody wants to court you. Yes, they're making a judgment call. This could be a past life relationship coming into your life here with judgment being resurrected, right? Or this could be someone from the past. But with this Ace of Wands and the judgment, I'm feeling new energy here, but we'll see. We'll see. Let's talk about this King of Cups. Ooh, yep, 10. We already got 10, 10, 10, three times. 2020. Major life cycles closing out. Major karmic cycles closing out. And a major nice new beginning. For those who raise their vibration, you will be blessed this time around. Trust and believe. So this person's been on a journey. They're ready to grab their bags. And they're ready for this new journey with you. Mm hmm and they've been contemplating sitting there savoring their emotions waiting to pounce and take that leap of faith let's talk about the ace of wands yeah Ooh. this is more than just sex darling this person wants to court you because they see you as marriage material and obviously we have the two of cups so we know we have a spiritual connection here we have the inner wisdom they know what to do they're trusting their inner wisdom okay they're gonna take appropriate action without delay and purifying whatever this is that they're leaving behind with judgment very good a lot of passion here too and you don't have to do anything this is the number three let it come to you, okay? This person already sees you. They already have feelings for you. They see you as the one. Let's talk about the two of cups. Or gentlemen, that's what you're doing. You're looking at someone like they're the one. You have a lot of feelings. You have yet to reveal to this person. But you're going towards this person, okay? Oh, we have a false person here with this two of cups. Mm. So there's somebody on the outside looking in. that They ain't going to like this, okay? So what I see here could be the person they're leaving behind Pisces some of you you have somebody in your past that's still kind of lurking and they're not gonna like this new connection you have going on here let's look at the bottom Ooh, hello lover wealthy man mm -hmm. number 13 adds up to four stability in this situation with these cards that's who's coming okay what he does for a living we don't know he could have his own business he could be anybody can he be a lawyer sure but he could be so many other things so let's talk about this situation and we're going to get into the legacy of the divine tarot let's further clarify this for you pisces let's see all right my guys what's going on with courtship and judgment
if these cards will get together, what's going on? They're like, Neh. wow. <laughs> okay, two more shuffles. Alright. Okay. Alright, let's cut the deck, my guides. Okay. So let's see what's going on here, Pisces. Courtship with judgment. Woof. There it is. New love. Somebody finally they want to give you that cup. That's right here. Okay. Definitely. Nice. I feel this is new love for a lot of you. Okay. If I see something different, I'll let you know. Let's talk about journey in this King of Cups. There's that passion. So we have love and passion on the board. Mm -hmm. For some of you, since I mentioned somebody here is a false person, kind of jelly, I feel. This could have been the person you're leaving behind, okay, for some of you. But I feel like there will be love and passion here in this connection coming together. Let's talk about marriage with the Ace of Wands. Yeah, somebody wants that victory. Okay. Um, for some of you, you're going to be very admired as a couple with the Six of Wands. This person could be in the public eye or you. Take it as it resonates. Um, but there will be victory and success. With the Ace of Wands, this person really wants this union, especially next to this King of Wands. But they have good intentions. It's not just hit it and split it. Okay, We're talking they want to make a family with you. And they, they, they might want to do this um, kind of quickly, um, believe it or not, is what I see here. But they're going to court you, okay? They already have feelings. It's like I just feel like they have no doubts. They're, they know within that you're the one. Now let's talk about Two of Cups with the false person. Yeah, this is definitely somebody that this person or you... And again, you could be mirroring each other as to the types of people you left behind. But uh, many lessons were learned with judgment there. We're walking away from major cycles and we're moving forward, okay, from a false person here. So they could be doing that so they can come to you. Uh, let's talk about this Ace of Cups. Or you could be, you know, the one that got away from someone. Seven of Cups with the ace of cups I mean seven of swords excuse me with the ace of cups um what I'm getting here because I see this person sneaking in through the window there could be someone that wants to come back around because we have the six of swords you left something or this person left something and then we have the seven of swords they're like because I feel like somebody's watching you you get no privacy they're like lurking in your window here I feel like somebody's creeping on you wanting to see if you're with somebody else and you will be that's what I'm getting here and whoever this was in your past that you learned a lot of lessons from you or this other person or both they're watching they want to come back into your life sneak back in there okay so be careful with this energy let's talk about this king of wands Two of Cups again. There you go. Nice. So Ace of Cups. Two of Cups. Very good. I like. Okay. Let's talk about the Six of Wands here with Marriage. Yeah. Twin Flame Energy here with Temperance. And again, this speaks of love and passion. Emotion and fiery. Creating that steam, that Creating that balance too. Very nice. I like this energy. Okay. So let's talk about this Six of Swords and this false person. Yeah. With the Knight of Coins here, there could be someone you haven't seen in a while. They could have been stuck in another situation. And all of a sudden, this person wants to sneak back in here. That's what I'm feeling for a lot of you. Okay. So be careful with that. Yeah, Nine of Wands, the Wounded Warrior, the person that plays victim, the person that, you know, kept putting up a wall, a front. And now it's like, oh, they're getting away. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. Careful with that energy. So let's get into my deck, Pisces, and see what it is we got here. One shuffle. Two. Three. One more shuffle. All right, my guys, let's see what we got going on here. For Pisces, what is this all about? All right, my guys, talk to me. Make sure I get this right. Okay. There it is. All right. Ace of Cups, Seven of Swords. Yep. Whoever wants to court you, they've done research on Twin Flames. Okay. Tarot readings, books, internet. Alright. Let me turn on the light here. There you go. I can see clearly now the rain is gone. Yes. So, what I'm feeling here as well is somebody's probably going to come see you in secret. They're not letting anybody know for whatever that reason is, okay? Let's talk about the King of Wands. Yeah. This magnetism is animalistic. I'd like to do you into next week. Middle of the night sex. I just can't get enough. I just can't get enough. Wow, Pisces. I'm a little jukebox with you guys. I wasn't like that with any of the any of the other signs I maybe got two signs where I got like a little bit of a song and that was it let's talk about the six of wands with temperance yep although we've come to the end of the road still I can't let go it's unnatural you belong to me I belong to you you're like, hell to the no. The end of the road. Cycle closed. The talk. Bored. Frustrated in relationship. No more. Transformation. Celibacy. Not feeling it. Ooh. Bucket of ice down your back. What? Yep. And whoever's coming into your life, they are closing out that cycle with whoever was deceiving here. Okay, for some of you, this person is coming into your life. Um, let's talk about this false person, Six of Swords and Knight of Cups. Okay, so you might have felt like you were under a spell. But this person that's coming into your life, I feel like I'm under your magical spell. My heart is faithful to you. Seduction, love stone, starry-eyed, mesmerized. God's spell. Yes. So, ooh, this person's crushing on you big time. God's spell meant to be, right? Twin flame. So they see you as the divine feminine or the divine masculine. Take that as it resonates. Bottom of the deck here, Pisces. Yep, that past person. I know I was wrong. I would like to apologize. Regret, remorse, and shambles, sadness and wounded mm -hmm. somebody can't let you go but it's the end of the road hit the road jack and don't you come back no more no more no more no more hit the road jack and don't you come back no more or what you said mm -hmm. he heard you and if he don't know he will wow pisces that's what i got for you guys let me know in the comments if you resonate with that, okay? You guys tell me what's really going on here. All right. Please like, share, and subscribe. Um, and I will see you guys again. Happy St. Patty's Day, by the way. I know it's, you know, around the world. We're not in celebration mode, but, you know, you can have your own party at your house, right? I'll most likely be doing a reading tomorrow. It's going to be a general reading, so look out for that. And I'll be using a little more of my deck just to kind of clarify more um, situations here. 
this is interesting. You definitely have someone that is truly, truly either in love or really does see a future with you. It is a twin flame connection. There's somebody hanging around here and they're a false person and they don't want to let you go. Mm -mm -mm. But you, you already learned your lesson. That's why it says, remember the heartbeat of the reading. Inner wisdom, you know what to do. Trust your inner wisdom and take appropriate action without delay. Make sure you purify yourself of any toxic energies, which is somebody lurking here. Oh, look at the bottom of this one. Prosperity. So, Abundantina, the universe is pouring its abundance out to you. Be open to receiving. Beautiful. All right, Pisces. I hope you guys like that. And I will talk to you soon. By the way, if I didn't mention it, this is for March 16th through April 15th. Okay? You will know in the um, description of the video. Okay? Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.